patient complained of pain in the upper left quadrant and she also complained of sinus issues. So we took a limited field of view 3D CBCT in the area of teeth 14 and 15. As we rotated here, you can see that there is a lot of bone destruction on tooth number 14. So we're looking for any kind of crack. We don't see a crack here, but look as we tip it over to the sinus. There are lesions on the mesial buckle, distal buckle, and palatal root. So as we rotate it toward the palatal aspect, we can see that there is osseous damage on tooth number 14 here and tooth number 15 on the palatal aspect. As we rotate it around, look at this. So the infection is going straight from the floor of the bone all the way up through the sinus. So we're looking at the sinus here. You can see that the area of infection has called what we call MSEO, maxillary sinusitis of endodontic or So I'm gonna tip it down, look at this. 90% of that sinus is filled with fluid. So part of her issue is not only just a tooth issue, she now has a sinus issue. So what we decided to do is do endodontic treatment on both of these cases on teeth number 14 and 15. We checked on the patient. The patient said her sinuses felt a lot better. Um, this is the before and after. She's gonna return in six months to evaluate to make sure there's osseous healing taking place. I talk more about this in my textbook and we'll be talking a lot more about this in my lecture here in Atlanta on October the 11th.